Hi everyone, <clears throat> Sidra here, and welcome to Atelier Sophie, the alchemist of the mysterious book. Again. <laughs> so, uh, just, to, just to tell you, uh, this first stream I'm basically doing again. I don't know what happened. Yesterday there was a disconnect from Twitch, and the videos aren't there. I went and looked, uh, we did this for about two hours, and they're gone. So we're going to do that, those two hours again. Um, so this first stream here won't be blind, I know what I'm doing, because I played it yesterday, uh, yesterday for me, not when you're watching the video. Anyway, that's what happened. So, sorry, but uh, the game will be blind after that. You see, it still has the blind tag, but um, that's that's what happened, and there's nothing I can do about it because I didn't put them on YouTube yet, so they're just gone into the ether. But that's okay. We'll just start over, and I'll do the things again, and then we'll see new things. It'll still be a ton of fun. Uh, this is the 17th game in the Atelier series. I had thought I'd never played an Atelier game. I always see them, but I never pick them up. Uh, not because I didn't think they would be fun, I just always played something else at the time. Um, I was afraid maybe I'd be missing stuff, maybe I'd want to go play older games of the Atelier series. I wasn't sure. I didn't know much about the series. But um, thanks to Maze for this one, and thanks to Lucian for Atelier Ferris which I'll be playing after this, which is the 18th game in the Atelier series. And I say that, but I actually have played an Atelier game. I've played Manichemia, which I did not know was an Atelier game. So I'm super excited to play this now because like, oh, okay, I've played a game. Yeah, I have played a game in the series. And um, I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. Let's get started. over. Now back to work. Now something I uh, do want to point out is I have maxed out the volume on this. Uh, the game doesn't get any louder and I have boosted the volume of the recording of the desktop audio as high as it can go. This is just a quiet game. So if the sound isn't where it is for my other videos, I do apologize. Um, I have lowered my microphone and chat told me it's okay and that the balance is good. So this is what we're dealing with. So you're gonna have to probably turn up your headset a little more than you typically do for my videos. Um, that's just how we're gonna have to play this. I need to put in the uni ball and then add the uni after boiling it for a little while. Yeah, this is going well. Now I just have to mix it a little and... Huh? This is weird. What's with this color? Oh, it stinks! Oh no, wait! This is Kirchen Bell, a small town brimming with greenery and the sounds of church bells. A certain girl lives alone in this town. Her name is Sophie. Here, she runs an atelier, using the alchemy she learned from her late grandmother. Although, she still has quite a lot of room for improvement. Mm, messed up again. <sighs> At this rate, I'll never be as good as Grandma was. Uh, hold on, everybody.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, that was somebody at the at the door. Hey, Perkins, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Your uh, your phone number the same? If only. Then I could make amazing medicine and stuff, and everyone in town would rely on me. <laughs> I wouldn't have any problems if that was the case. <sighs> so I should clean up. Oh yes, it's open. New person. Hello, Sophie. What's that smell? <laughs> I can mess stuff again. More importantly, why are you here, Monica? Do you need something? Yes. There's something I'd like to ask of you. Huh. It's unusual for you to have a request. What do you need? I just met with Meister Horst. He was asking for some bird medicine, but... I've gone to every shop, and I can't find it anywhere, so I thought you might know something. You know, you're kind of an alchemist, right? That's why I'm asking. I'm not kind of one. <laughs> Is an alchemist. <laughs> bird medicine, huh? I've never tried making that. I saw Grandma making it before, so I should be able to make it too. It's a request I decided to accept. You don't have to force yourself if it'll be difficult. No, it's fine. I can't just ignore someone in need. Leave it all to me. Oh, but I'm still not confident about it, so I should look for Grandma's book. All right, and then a bunch of extra stuff gets gets added. I guess this goes from Steam. There we go. Got through all of that. Book. Hmm. I can't find it. Wait. What's this book? What's wrong? It's just that there's a book here that I don't recognize. It has a very elegant binding. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hmm. I see, I see. Ah, this is a reference book for alchemy. But only the beginning is. 
of it is all blank pages. Maybe Grandma was writing it. Hmm, I see. Yeah! Anyway, Monica, after looking at this, I suddenly remembered. Huh? Remembered what? How to make the bird medicine! The thing you were asking about! Really? You think you can make it? Of course! I have enough material so I can mix it up real quick now. Yes, please do so. Just be careful not to make another mistake, okay? I'll be fine. Just leave it to me. You can synthesize items by accessing the Alchemy Cauldron. Accessing this desk will allow you to save and load the game. Set the time to whatever you like by sleeping in the bed. If you return to the Atelier, this place, late at night, you'll automatically rest until morning. Berg Medicine. So, we have a save here. Size items, you first select one of the recipes you've learned. Synthesis requires you to have the designated items. You can check which symbols you can which recipes you can make by looking at the symbols. If it's a circle, you can synthesize it now. You have everything you need. Triangle means you can synthesize it, but you need to synthesize some additional materials first. So that's that's how that works. It's like, yeah, I have to make this thing, then I can make the thing I want. And X, you don't have enough materials at all. Use this key as a quick reference to see which recipes you can make. Uh, Sophie doesn't start at level 1. She has she is a level 3 alchemist. <laughs> Which I think is cool. She actually is an alchemist. So you can see there is how many you're going to make, how long it takes to make it, and materials. We need two magic grass, and then anything that falls in the animal category, and anything that falls in the water category. If it has the parentheses, I think it talks about that next. Did that the first what time, materials too. materials should I use? Select materials. Some, materials. some material requirements are specific, but they can also be categories of items like water. When a category is designated, you can freely select any item you want from that category. Right. So if it's just like water, you can use anything that's water. However, each item also has a different category value. It represents its affinity in that category. That's the number that you see. I thought it was how many of those we have, but no. That number is basically how good of a material it is. Category value is displayed on the item, item icon's lower right as a number. The number's color represents the item's color. And color comes into play when we start making it. You press X to swap the item information to check the item's categories and category values all at once. Pressing A puts a check mark, means you're going to use it. Quality, effect value, size, and use count. Quality, how good of quality it is. Effect value, total value of materials, size, Average size of the selected materials, and that will will come into play. Use count can increase up to three times as size grows to certain points. So use count over on the right is how many times you can use the item. And water. Is this really okay? 
After choosing on the materials, you select synthesis, and there you go. Berg Medicine. So it has HP recovery effect extra small. So it's a healing item. But we actually made it. All right, done. Monica, it's ready. Mm, that's amazing. It really is Berg Medicine. Thank you, Sophie. You really helped me out. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? <laughs> right. Anyway, I'll take this over to Meister Horse now. Hey, Monica. Do you mind if I go along? Huh? I don't mind. But why? I'm the one who made this medicine. If it turned out to be no good, it would mean trouble. Hmm. I think it's fine, but... Well, it couldn't hurt. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, just a minute. I should write the recipe into the reference book while it's still fresh in my mind. Sorry for the wait, Monica. Anyway, let's go see Meister Horse. Uh oh, something's happening to the book. Meister Horse. Ah, you two. Do you need anything? Meister Horst, I brought the Berg medicine you requested. Oh, thank you very much for bringing it so quickly, Monica. Well, actually, Sophie made it. I couldn't find any Berg medicine myself. Sophie, you made this? Yes. Um, is there something wrong with it? Not at all. In fact, it's quite rare to see Berg medicine as fine as this. It seems your skills with alchemy are improving quite a bit, Sophie. <laughs> you two have been very helpful. Here's your payment. Receive 200 coal. Coal is the uh, money we have. Or uh, the currency. But we basically doubled our cash, yeah? Wow, thank you so much, Meister Horst. Um, I didn't really do anything. I can't accept this. No, no. I'm the one who made such a sudden request. Think of it as a payment for your time. I insist. Very well. I'll accept it gratefully. Thank you too, Sophie. If you are ever troubled by anything, just ask. I'll do whatever I can to help. Anyway, I'll get going now. Have a good day, Meister Horse. Sophie? Yes, have a good day. Worked hard today. Huh? What? That book is floating? I I didn't think books could do that. You just got home, and you're already so loud. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? Did the book just talk? Yes, I talked. And you're wondering why we're freaking out, book. What? Please just calm down. People are able to talk. It's not strange for a book to talk too. That's not how it works, book. <laughs> huh? Um, I don't think that's how it works. I don't think it's how it works either. <laughs> um, so you're that reference book from earlier, right? The one I wrote in? Uh, I mean, it is an alchemy book, so... Alright. Yes, I'm Plakta. 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 I'm so not remembering that name. I know I'm going to butcher it a couple of times. Oh, you have a name. I'm Sophie. Sophie. I shall remember that. Um, Miss Plakta? Just call me Plakta. Uh, okay. Um, Plakta? 
What exactly are you? A book. N not what we're asking. <laughs> we, we can see that. <laughs> I can see that, but you're a book. Yet you're flying and talking. It's really strange. Kind of strange, yeah. It's true that I'm different from an ordinary book. That's because I... I... That's strange. I can't remember. What exactly am I? A flying alchemist book? But yeah, that's kind of weird. Also, you can't remember, so that's not great. Um, that's what I want to know. Exactly. Wait, Fakta, do you not have any memories? It seems so. I can remember that I'm related to alchemy, though. It's a good start. Alchemy? Then I might be able to help. I'm actually an alchemist. True. Yes, I know. A novice alchemist who doesn't even know how to produce bird medicine. That's kind of mean book. Oh, so you saw that. But I can make it now. Yeah, she sure can. Even a child could make that if they studied a little bit. All right. No need to be mean. Uh, but, but, Meister Horse praised me for it, saying it was really well made. From my point of view, it didn't appear particularly excellent in any way. You're the expert, I guess. Yeah, I'm terrible at alchemy. I make lots of mistakes, and I can't make lots of things. But you're getting better, Sophie. Don't let the mean book get you down. I can't help the people around town like my grandma was able to. Do you wish to become better? Huh? I'm asking you if you wish to become better at alchemy. Of course I do. I would if I could. There is a device called the Cauldron of Knowledge. It allows anyone to use the power of alchemy. With that, you would be able to make free use of alchemy, as you so desire. There's an amazing device like that? I want it! Where can I find it? The Cauldron of Knowledge is... Oh, this is strange. Oh no, don't tell me. Flakta, you forgot where the cauldron is? It seems so. What? Are you serious? That's terrible! You got my hopes up only to crush them. I am very sorry, but I can't remember at all. As compensation, I can teach you alchemy myself. I may have lost my memories, but I'm confident that my knowledge of alchemy exceeds yours. Well, you are a book of alchemy, so... Hmm, you do seem pretty smart, and you probably do know more about alchemy than me. If you'll teach me, I'll gladly accept. Very well. We'll be working together starting now, Sophie. Yeah! I look forward to it, Plakta. And opening movie!
New day. Okay, let's not waste any time. Can you teach me some stuff, Pasta? I, I don't know. That opening movie just really puts me in a good mood. You see characters and the music's really good. Uh, just the the art style, the characters. The game's got a ton of charm right off the bat, and it immediately invests me in the game, which is which is great. You're quite enthusiastic. Pretty enthusiastic. I'm, I'm ready to, to keep going. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a novice forever. <laughs> Very well. Try synthesizing something first. Synthesis? I can do that. Let's see. Materials, materials. Oh, what's wrong? I used all my materials when I made that bird medicine. I have nothing left. Then it seems you need to gather some. Is there a place nearby where you can do that? Yeah, I know of a place, but... Puni appear there, so I'm scared to go alone. Oh, right! I can have Monica come with me. Monica? Is that the girl who was with you yesterday? Yeah, she's actually really strong. I see. Then you should be safe. Very well, please be careful. Huh? You're not coming too? As you can see, even if I was to go, I wouldn't be able to fight. Seeing how I'm a book and all. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll be off then. Yes, try to come back quickly. Time is finite after all. If you take too long, I won't have as much time to teach you alchemy. <laughs> You're right. Okay, I'll try to hurry back. Time will pass when Sophie takes action, such as moving or synthesis. You can see the current time and date in the upper left corner of the screen. Movement, exploration, synthesis, and other actions will cause time to slowly pass. The time can cause changes in monsters present, gatherable items, etc. So time's really important. A week consists of five days called sprout, bud, flower, fruit, and seed. So instead of having seven day weeks, they have five day weeks. Fruit and seed are considered the weekend. So those two symbols. And that looks like uh, cherries and uh, one that kind of looks like a seed with a flower on it. People around town would do different things during the week because it's the weekend. People do different things. A month still consists of 30 days. The current date will display on the calendar in the upper left corner of the screen. Looking for Monica? I think I saw her in the plaza earlier. Let's go there. So I head to the main street to go shopping. Then you talk to NPCs. Um, I haven't mentioned it, but this is an RPG. Out here, games are RPGs. Yes, we haven't gotten to combat or anything yet, but just because we had opening, because the alchemy is going to be really important. Will you come gathering with me? I mean, that's that's the thing of Atelier games with alchemists. Hmm? Why are you asking all of a sudden? I don't have any materials for synthesis. I want to go gather some, but I'm scared to go alone. Ah, I see. Of course I'll go. Besides, you help me with Meister Horse request. All right. Thanks, Monica. No problem. By the way, Sophie, have you outfitted yourself properly? Huh? Yeah, I have my handkerchief and snacks. Not what she was talking about, but it is really important to have snacks. That's not what I meant. You need medicine and other supplies, right? We're going to a place where monsters appear. You need to prepare properly. Oh, you're right. I'll be sure to bring some stuff.
There are many items that can be equipped, such as bombs and medicine. By equipping these items, you can take them outside of town and use them. Items can be equipped from equipment in the main menu. Sophie can equip all items, but the items equipped by other characters are limited. They can only equip certain things. You can see if a character can equip an item or not by checking the second page in the item details. Sophie has a traveler's vest and she starts with a staff. That is her weapon. By going over here, we can equip items. We have these uni bags. It says physical damage small, physical damage S. So we use them and they'll do damage to an enemy. Monica, on the other hand, uses a rapier, which that's really cool. She has a hard coat for her starting armor. And she can also equip the bag. You can see down there by equipable, you see her, her face. Equipment cost, 0 of 10. The level of the item is the equipment cost. I have noticed that. So, since it's level 4, equipment cost 4. Uh, but Sophie doesn't have that. She doesn't have a limit. Well, she can only have 5 items, as I see here, but... No equipment cost. I plan to go hunting outside after making preparations on Main Street. Maybe I'll look at the request over at Horse Shop, too. So, you, uh, if you look up at the time... When we move... Oh, well. You'll see that time will have advanced a little bit. Why? If it isn't Sophie and Monica, are you going somewhere? Mrs. Marguerite. Yes, I'm going to help Sophie gather materials. Right, Sophie? Wow, these are nice. Your vegetables look so tasty today, too. Yum. Focusing on the right thing. Focusing on food. <laughs> <laughs> it seems Sophie is charmed by my vegetables again. Sophie. Huh? Oh, right! Yeah, we're going to go gathering! I see, I see. Make sure to be careful. Yes, thank you for your concern. That makes me wonder where my foolish son wandered off to. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Got it. I'll let him know if I see him. Anyway, we'll be going now. Yes, take care! Still getting ready to open shop. Come back later. Stores closed due to interior cleaning. There's not much we can do right now because everything will be closed. They just want you to get on with the kind of your tutorial gathering quest. Going well, to Kirchen Bell. Was, uh... Hi, Yama. Welcome to the stream. Uh, our first place we'll be going is Chick Woods. Lovely game pick. I've wanted to try this for so long. Yeah, I've actually, I actually uh, streamed this for the first time last night, but Twitch kind of goofed up halfway through the stream, and 
neither of the streams are there, so I'm having to redo this first part. Uh, I might be streaming new stuff, because I've never played this before either. <laughs> Until last night. Um, doing new stuff uh, tonight at a uh, night stream. Sophie and Monica, what are you doing out here? We're here to gather alchemy materials. What about you? I came to observe the plants. The plants here tell some interesting stories. Oscar, don't tell me you were talking to plants again. That's exactly what I was doing. What's weird about that? To me, it's weirder not to be able to talk to plants. You do you, Oscar. I... Considering we now have a floating talking book, anything's possible. Yeah, you were always like this. I don't really intend to argue after all this time. <laughs> that sounded vaguely like an insult. Vaguely. Vaguely. <laughs> oh, right. Oscar, Mrs. Marguerite was looking for you. Yeah, Mom was looking for you. Oh, crap! I totally forgot about my delivery! Mom's gonna scold me! This is your own fault. Just accept it, Oscar. Yep. What was that sound? What was that sound? <gasps> uh, it's a puny! I assume that is the, uh, like, mascot, like the slime in Dragon Quest, like, starting enemy. Sophie, stand back. Which, it oh, looks, you can fight, right? it looks adorable. I remember chat, everybody in chat was saying that yesterday, last night. Uh, my fiance included. I was like, it's adorable. I do love the the look of the puny. Well, it's a great starting enemy. What? Wait a second. I'm not prepared for this. Prepared or not, we're going. Here they come. Explanation about those things. Looks like a combo of pink jelly things from Ragnarok Online and the blue blobs from Zelda 2. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, man. What are the... Oh. It just left me. They're called from Ragnarok. It's a combination of those and like a slime from Dragon Quest. It's great. I, I really like this enemy. In battle, enemies and allies will take turns performing actions. Time to get to the, you know, combat part of our RPG experience. Once the enemy actions are determined, you'll be able to select actions for your party. <clears throat> you can use commands for various actions. Select with a D-pad, press A to confirm. The action order is displayed on the left, and go in order from the top. So you go from the top down, and that's when people are going to take their actions. The order can often change depending on actions performed. Furthermore, an important factor in battle is stance. There are two types of stances, offense and defense. Stance can be switched anytime while selecting commands by pressing left bumper or right bumper with different perks. If you're in the offensive stance, you'll get an increase to your attack power. It will also allow you to perform support attacks, following up with additional attacks from other allies. If you're in the defensive stance, you will get an increase in your defense. You'll take less damage from enemies. You will also use support guard, letting allies protect each other when being attacked by enemies. They'll jump in the way and take a hit at reduced damage on top of that. Each support action will be automatically used when the chain link gauge, down there at the bottom, is filled to 100%. Once it hits 100%, whether the character's on offense or defense, they'll do one of those things. Either they'll get an extra swing from a teammate, or somebody will jump in the way if it's an enemy attacking, and they're on defense. 
Type of support action is determined by your current stance. You can gain an advantage in battle by checking the enemy's actions and choosing the appropriate stance. Enemies displaying warning are preparing to use a powerful attack. Consider the situation at hand and then either defeat them with offensive stance or endure the attack with defensive stance. Make good use of the information displayed on the turn list. Shouldn't be too bad. And we get our first combat. We can't take some of these commands. All we can do is attack, item, and skill. To the left is defense, and down is to run away from battle. Aura Blitz. Takes 7 MP, magic damage, targets one enemy. The top number is HP, the red bar. The bottom number is your MP. The orange, the uh, yellow, excuse me. You can see where the characters are going to go when you take the action. Monica's skill is Light Edge. Physical damage, it reduces an enemy's attack power. Only hits one enemy. But you can see it has a long time to use. Uh, the music is really good. I really am digging the music of, of uh, Atlee or Sophie so far. Oscar's ability is Relaxing Herb. Restores HP, scales with attack power, so the more attack power he has, the more it will heal. It also cures one status ailment, and it hits one ally. Um, it doesn't heal as much as you think it does. It'll heal in the single digits. So, just keep that in mind. It'll heal like seven or so. And Oscar uses a shovel. That's his weapon. Beat an enemy. You get stuff. These will be materials that we use for alchemy to make items. I thought I was going to die. Nah, it was just the beginning anyway. We're fine. One of the beginning enemy. We're fine. You both appear uninjured. Yeah, somehow. I didn't think they'd attack all of a sudden like that. Hey, Oscar, do you want to come with us? It's dangerous to be alone. Monsters could attack again. You're probably right. All right, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want to get hurt after all. In that case, let's get started with the gathering. Oh, you need to help too, Oscar. Oh man, roped in. What? I never said I'd do that. And you won't tell Mrs. Marguerite we saw you here, okay? Man, Sophie. Good play. Uh, fine, I got it. <laughs> Press A next to a gathering point in the field will allow you to gather items. They will be green dots on your mini map. However, monsters also dwell in most areas. They will be red dots on your mini map. Touching an enemy symbol will start a battle, basically touching the enemy. If you hit the enemy by swinging your staff first, you'll start the battle with an advantage. You can swing by pressing X. Make good use of this. So, you can see uh, there's a glowing spot here. Gather items. And gather these. There's no enemies here to start with. For this first uh, gather. After this, there'll be enemies here. <laughs> Talk about using people. Wasn't that far, Oscar. What should we do, Sophie? Wanna look around a little more? I do, but game doesn't really let you. Huh? No way, that's enough. I'm exhausted. And if we stick around too long, some dangerous monsters could appear. Hmm. Oscar might be right. Okay then, let's head back. Yeah. Oh, both of you should drop by the Atelier. I'll make tea for you. Oh, really? Then we'll take you up on that offer. Right, Oscar? Yeah. But first, let me catch my breath.
Taking actions outside of town consumes LP. That's what that LP stat is. And it's kind of like your stamina. Losing LP will reduce your abilities. Try to avoid battles while low on LP. At low IP, your stats will be reduced in battle. Also, exploring the same field multiple times will allow you to gather better materials. Increases when you explore the same map over and over. A higher number lets you gather better materials, but enemies get stronger. I would never finish any quest due to searching throughout the whole world for items. That's how I play most RPGs. <laughs> that happens a lot, but what kind of works in Atlier is you need to get items. That's how you're going to advance, is by making things. So it plays into itself. Is that's how Manakimia was, the one Atlier game that I have played. And it seems this one's going to kind of follow the same thing. The time and weather can also affect the materials you gather and the monsters that appear. So there's a lot of a lot of variation depending on time, weather, area, obviously, to what items you get. But the time and weather could could end up throwing us so we may not find things we need. So hopefully that won't be the case. Hopefully we'll we'll be okay. Let's go back to town. It could be. I'm really digging the game so far. You're back. And yeah, we're back. Friends, meet Flying Book. Oh, welcome back. That took a long time. Flying Talking Book. Um, yeah, I just never... I don't know. I... I don't know if I was ever going to pick up the game. Not that I think it wasn't going to be good, just thought I never really played an Atlier game. But thanks to two uh, two subscribers, one gave me this game and one gave me the game after this, Atlier Fierce. So I'll be playing through those and I'm extremely glad they have because I am really digging the game so far. I'm having a great time with it. That book is floating? And talking? Yep, sure is. I never thought I'd hear the voices of books in addition to plants. N no, Oscar. It isn't just you. I can hear it too. This time. <laughs> no, no. It isn't just you. <laughs> Sophie, it seems your friends are just as loud as you are. Well, it's not every day you see a flying talking book. Anyone would be surprised if they saw you, Plasta. Exactly. Um, both of you? This is... Quick explanation. You wrote something in a reference book and it started talking? Sounds more like a dream. I never thought that book would turn out to be something this amazing. I was shocked at first, too. I mean, a book was flying and talking after all. I don't think it's that shocking. It's pretty shocking. <laughs> no, it is. That's it. No, it is. <laughs> so, um, Miss Plakta? Just call me Plakta. Oh, okay then. Plakta? What or who are you? Working on that. Ah, I asked the same question. But it seems like Plakta doesn't have any memories. Really? Yeah, most of the pages are blank. Therefore, it doesn't have memories. Yes, the only things I know are my name, 
and a little knowledge of alchemy. Which makes perfect sense. The book doesn't have, has a bunch of blank pages. Well, it doesn't have much of a memory now, does it? <laughs> right. That's why I want to figure out a way to get her memories back. Memories, huh? Maybe they'll come back if you found some sort of clue? A clue? Hmm. Oh, Sophie, I just thought of something. Plakta started talking because you wrote something in the book, right? Yeah, I think that did it. Then maybe her memories will return if you write more recipes into the book? That's a sound conclusion. I can agree with that. Wow, that makes sense. You're pretty sharp, Monica. What do you think, Plakta? It doesn't sound far-fetched. I think it would be worth trying. Okay. In that case, I'll study lots of alchemy and write lots of recipes into you. I feel like some sort of fate brought us here. If there's anything I can help with, let me know. Yeah, I'll help with whatever I can too. Thanks, friends. Thank you both. Whoa, it's getting late. I need to get home or Mom will scold me again. I'll be leaving as well. See you later, Sophie and Plakta. Yeah, see you! I need to work hard for Plakta. Yes, I have high hopes, Sophie. Any items you have on you are then sent to the container. If you check them, you can see like the stats on them. You click no, they just go straight to the container. Okay. All right, time to start synthesizing. Now that we have items. Plakta, teach me whatever you can. Okay, I understand. Now, if you thought the making okay. items what thing was kind of simple when we made the first Berg Medicine. What materials should I use? We go through the same process. Is this really okay? Okay then, let's How, start. However, there is more to it. <laughs> Thanks to Plakta's teaching, you can now perform even more detailed synthesis. Now the game gets a bit tricky with the whole synthesis thing. Placing materials on the panel will increase quality quality and effect of the synthesized item <clears throat> so you can make the item better try selecting the well water first this is where the size comes into play if you're wondering what that was about it's like size what is that for this is what it's for after selecting the material you can choose where to place it on the panel try placing the well water in the lower right Quality will increase when more panels are covered, and taking bonus lights, those lights you see on the panel, will increase the effect value of the material. Basically, it makes the material better the more light you get. Surrounding panels will gain colors, and the same color bonuses will appear. Next, try selecting the magic grass and place it on the top left. Placing the magic grass caused the surrounding bonuses to grow larger, so you can see that the lights get brighter. You can increase the effect of bonuses by placing materials adjacent to them. Then, if another material goes in that spot, now where the lights are brighter, you'll get an even bigger bonus. Larger bonuses will reward greater effect, and taking them with the same color material lets you get even gain even greater effect value. If the... Uh, Panel is the same color as the material. Grass is green. You can see in the top right of the picture. Next, select the monster feather. It would appear that no matter where you place the monster feather, it will overlap other materials. Try placing it on top of the magic grass to see what happens. So we placed here. I think something good will happen. The magic grass that was placed has disappeared, and only the monster feather remains. If you place the material on top of another one, the original one will sink and not be visible on the panel anymore. This won't cause your synthesis to fail, 
but due to less panels being covered, it will be harder to gain quality and effect. You want to cover as many as you can. When selecting materials, do your best to choose ones that won't overlap and fit together well. Finally, select the magic grass and place it on the upper right, where all the bonuses are concentrated. You can see in the upper right, where it wants us to place it, the lights are really bright. The uh, two panels that are linked, I don't know if my mouse will appear, these two. That the lights are really bright, so we'll get a lot of bonus from it. After placing all materials on the panel, the color covering the majority will gain an effect value increase. The number will go up even more. In this example, you use red, blue, and green, but they all cover the same number of panels, three each. So, since they're all tied, they all get the bonus. All materials gain an 18% increase. That's, that gets added to the number. Due to the effect value increasing, HP Recovery Extra Small has changed to HP Recovery Small. It's better. You can see that there's a line in the middle at the 50 point for this. Since we crossed it, the effect got better. Instead of being extra small, it's small. Also, in the blue section, we crossed this line threshold, which is 25. And instead of being none, like nothing happening, we got recovery bonus small. So we get an additional bonus. So you can see there is a lot to alchemy. The items you're going to use, the size of the items, the quality, where you're going to place them on the grid. There's a lot to it. But if we get, get better at it, once we get better at it, over time and getting different materials and things, we'll be able to make items that are better and have additional effects and will help us out more. It's, I feel like it's gonna be a really deep system and while daunting here at the beginning, I think over, over time it's gonna be a lot of fun and we'll be glad that it is a really deep and rich system. Order, location where you place the materials, material colors can greatly affect synthesis results. All those can greatly affect synthesis results. If you cover the entire panel, you'll gain a large quality bonus, greatly benefiting your synthesis. Test all kinds of materials and placements and try to cover the entire panel. You see, it'll take one hour to make this and we'll make this Berg Medicine. So it's bird medicine. We already made bird medicine, but this one's better. HP recovery is small instead of extra small. And it has that recovery bonus small, which the first bird medicine we had we made didn't have that, because we didn't couldn't go into the synthesis grid. Level up. Hey, level four alchemist. Sophie's daily actions can cause her to think up of new item recipes. When Sophie performs particular actions, she may come up with new recipes for items. Made before, thought up but not made yet, 
Not thought of it yet. It's just a question mark. You can check recipes from recipe ideas in the main menu or the reference book. When somebody performs particular actions, she may come up with new recipes for items. You can check recipe idea conditions under recipe ideas in the main menu. Some recipes are key to bringing Plotcha's memories, bringing back Plotcha's memories. Progress of recipes with strong relations to her memories will be displayed. The book's memories will be displayed. Beginner recipes. So we made the bird medicine. Hi, Shadow. Memo. Idea from Uni. So if we find that, then we can learn a new recipe. I did not know we could jump. Town map functions have been unlocked. Selecting the place you want to go on the town map allows you to travel directly there, then when you have to walk through each place. You can also see what characters are present in each area. Characters usually stay in the same places, but once in a while they may go somewhere unexpected. You may even run into unexpected events during these times. Also. It's a barrel. It's a barrel. It's a barrel. Apparently that's some Atlier meme. It's an Atlier thing that became a meme and they just kept going with it. It's a barrel. If I would have said it, if I would have talked to it before, I forgot about this till just now. Like when you first go outside, before you meet the other characters, you just be, should just be like, barrel. Like, that's something Starlight, my mascot, would say. <laughs> we got well water, and it also had Sophie think of a... of a recipe. Here's the town map. Welcome, Sophie. Thank you for the other day. Oh, no, it was nothing. If there's anything else you need, feel free to ask. In that case, may I ask now? Huh? Is there something you need? Yes. Many people come to this shop, so I naturally receive many requests. I'd be grateful if you were able to take care of some of those requests. Um, would it really be okay if I did them? You were able to make something like that after all. I think you would do just fine. Also, I'll make sure to only give you requests that I believe you can handle. I understand. In that case, I'll try it. Thank you very much. I receive much more information than just requests, so just ask me if there's something you wish to know more about. You can now re accept requests and purchase rumors. Requests allow you to solve problems of townspeople, and you receive money as a reward. Some requests have a deadline. You'll receive a warning in the field when the deadline is approaching. Rumors allow you to pay money in exchange for information, the availability of increase, uh, availability of ingredients, and monster appearances. When you purchase a rumor relating to a gathering field, it will display on the world map. Some rumors will expire after time passes. You should investigate them as soon as possible. Requests and rumors are updated after set periods of time. You should check back frequently. You can view more about requests and rumors under help in the encyclopedia. So like a little quest we can take. Thank you for coming, Sophie. Which request will you accept? Thank you. I'm counting on you. So find Tin Uni. And we turn them in, so we lose them. But if we get 10 of them, we get 340 cash. Uh, it needs 4 magic grass. 5 beehive. See, this one has time. Defeat ghosts. 20 days left. 
Thanks. And cobalt grass, which I haven't seen. Thanks. But I don't know if there's a limit to the number of requests you can take. But unless it has the well, timer, I'll I don't see why we why we won't take them and we can uh I heard the night music. Night music is really good. Take them and try to do them. Can't catch anything. That's a shame. Keep a watch to make sure monsters and suspicious people don't get in. Different monsters come out during the night. It's dangerous, so I try not to go outside at night. New area, Pilgrim Road, but we're going to go back to Chickwoods. Now you'll see there's enemies around. Every time you gather something, uh, time time goes forward, so do be aware. Okay, okay. Whoa, they look pretty tough. in the flame gaze. Ow. Yes. They hardly put up a fight. And that's the ghost we needed to get. See, we only got one cash though. We get three XP, but only one cash. So quests seem to be a really big way we're gonna get money. Crystal shard. Ooh, treasure. Got a thing. And as you combat and pick stuff up, you see time is going to change. And now that it's daytime, the enemies are different. And by getting that item, there's the uni we needed for a new recipe. Each three of them. This is a green puny. It is much stronger than the blue ones. Wide open. That really hurt. It did really hurt. After an enemy takes so much damage, they will break. And our characters will do the same. If an enemy breaks, you can tell by the gauge below the portrait of the character. Didn't get a tutorial for this. This is just something I've been noticing. Yeah, I noticed last last night. Um, that uh, if they break, they lose a turn. So that's how you can interrupt enemies. Sport attack, yay. Uh oh. The enemy's way faster than us this turn. I love the combat music, it's really good. There's there's a few combat themes I like more, but I really like the combat themes overall. Ice Storm! See, defense plus defensive stance, you really take less damage. Right, now let's go on the offensive. Here I go! 
<laughs> had one HP left. <laughs> HP, 1 MP, 2 LP, plus 1 damage, plus 1 attack, defense, and plus 4 speed. I can apply this experience to the future. I love everybody's level up pose. I think it's really cool. 2 HP for Monica, 1 MP, 2 LP, 2 damage, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 speed. I become stronger for the plants. 3 HP, no MP, 3 LP. One damage, one attack, one defense, one speed for Oscar. And we get items. And LP goes down as we fight. Also as we move to other other places, but Uh, fighting is one of the big things. Basket! Here's all the things we've gathered so far. And we can't do any of that here. Where are we going next? Is this okay? We just went here. Yeah, let's go back. Try to reset the items. Also reset the uh, dot there at the bottom so the enemies aren't as strong. <laughs> Researching Uni can be reported. I'd like to have more though, because we need one to to make stuff with. Can't use an I can't use skills out of battle. I was gonna try to do that to heal, but relaxing herb. And we'll use light edge. See, heal six. Doesn't heal all that much. There's light edge. Attack down. Warning, but you're gonna break, so I'm not super worried. Critical came at a good time. <laughs> this fight's over. I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> So you're seeing the, the next memory pop up. That's because collect memory clues, slaying monsters, completing requests, you get a big effect. So that's what we need to move on in the book. 
which will advance the story. Okay, party's pretty beat up. Let's go back to town. Send everything to the container. And since it's nighttime, we will automatically rest. But I wanted to rest anyway. <laughs> okay, uni bag. So tea. And for this one, we need rommel wheat. Gunpowder. We need some type of gunpowder. And this one we can make. What materials to use? So you can see these have different numbers. Four, because quality decaying, quality average. And this MP recovery, extra small. But see, the unis give more, but we need them for the quest, so I'm just going to use that. We need fuel, which we can also use these. Puni fluid. Oh, yeah, something else. Encyclopedia entry. Puni fluid? It's the squishy part of a puni. I don't know if fluid is the right word for it. What are you even going to use that for? Oh, the characters talk. <laughs> They have stuff to say about items. I think that's great. Size minus. Equipment cost decreases by 10. Item size level decreases by 1. level. Mm, okay. And they have different, different traits, which change them. up here. Yeah, good. This grass could go here. This isn't bad. Is this good? Still cold. And we it's just small MP recovery, but it's a start. Quality amateur. Use count three. That's fine. Yeah. I should finish it quick. I didn't use great materials. But now we've made tea. It can recover MP, affect cold, I'm not sure what that does, to be honest, and the wake up cup, I'm not sure either. Level up. Yay, level five alchemist. Some items will be locked behind an alchemist level. I have seen that. So it'll be important to up our, our alchemist what level. To use? Let's make another one. Okay, so it's not it's not cold. <laughs> huh, if I could have got ten more out of it. Which you can always redo and try to place things different try to place them in different places. If I could have got to eighty it would have had something else, but it's not cold. Wake up cup, MP recovery, extra small. Before you go out, remember you have to equip things or you won't be able to use them. Cold. Coldness slows down the body, reducing the target's speed a little. Oh no, so if we we take take the tea, it actually slows us down a little bit. 
Restores the target's HP, wake up cup. Recovery mount increases the closer it is to 7 a.m. Oh, interesting. Okay. Because it's helping you wake up. <laughs> Slows down the body a little. Okay. So that's why you're better when we took away the cold status effect. We'll put on this not as good one. Well, I'll put on the one that's that's good. We may need Soti to uh, turn in for a quest. I saw that last night. It was just a random quest. We could just give him this one. some magic grass so I can uh, make more medicine for HP heal. It seems every day you can pull water from the well. And I'm going to be doing that. Okay. Uh, next, let's go into town. And let's go shopping. First, you need to learn how to make the props for the performance. No problem. I'll learn before you know it. Shopping, I really like it. Well, he's a wealthy person. Ah, Sophie, you came at the perfect time. Huh? Monica? What's wrong? Do you have some time right now? Yeah, I do. That's good. Can you help me? With what? Cleaning the church. Okay. Uh, you've helped us out. So. Pamela, I brought Sophie. She said she'll help with the cleaning. Pamela Ibis. It's been a while, Sophie. Thank you so much for coming. No problem. I'm sorry I couldn't come here lately, Pamela. Oh, don't worry about that. Pamela, we could talk later. We should get the cleaning done first. Otherwise, it'll get dark. You're right. Let's begin. Clean, 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 clean. Whew. We've cleaned up a lot. Indeed, although I feel as though there's still a lot left. That's enough for today. Thank you both. All oh, right. Pamela, are you going to throw away the stuff here? Let's see. None of it's really usable, so I suppose so. In that case, can I take some of it? I might be able to use it for alchemy. Feel free to take as much as you want. In fact, just take it all. Um, that's... All of it would be... I'd feel kind of bad. No, we can use it for alchemy. Take it. They said you could have it. They're just throwing it out anyway. You could pay for it, then. Oh, you really don't have to worry about that. No, I'll pay. Well, then. In that case, do you mind if I take it as a donation for the church? Donation? You can leave a donation in exchange for taking some of the stuff. Does that sound okay to you? See? Sounds like you'd both benefit from this arrangement. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, Pamela. I'll be donating lots of money from now on. So, it's another type of shop. Did you eat breakfast? Oh, you want to buy something? Total donation. I assume after we reach a certain amount of... What will you buy from me? ...of donation, um, more stuff will pop up, or we'll get something. Uh, I want to buy two of these. Is this really okay? Thank you very... So I did that last time. Come... So, do you need something today? Yes, we're going adventuring. <laughs> old Town. I don't think I've been to the Old Town yet. Well, 
I want is street. Locked seems like an empty house. Clock shop. It's locked. The shop owner doesn't seem to be here. There's Oscar. Hey, Sophie, blow up anything again today? Nope, we're doing better. I see you're working early. What do you want to buy? We'll go to the grocery store. What we can buy, buy. We can buy different things here. We can buy uni quality fresh. They're better. I'll buy two. Then I can turn in the tin okay? and still have uni to, Thanks as always. to use. We know we need wheat. I'll buy five of those. Is this okay? Thanks as always. And I'll buy five potatoes. Is this okay? Thanks as always. And stuff can be expensive. Oh, these two. Is this okay? Thanks as always. For whatever reason, yeah, you see, under categories, red uni counts as gunpowder, and we need gunpowder. Oh, this powder does as well. It's expensive though. Natural yeast has the gunpowder stat. Huh. Okay. Fuel, fuel. So you can see where they where they fall. If you're looking for something specific like you need water, you can see if that item counts as water or not. Like good water, high purity, gives 25 water instead of 20. Uh, I do need magic grass. Is this up there? Come again. We know we needed the wheat, so now simple sweets can be synthesized. Welcome, Sophie. Hello, Meister Hortz. They say Meister. Instead of Mr. Oh, it's Sophie! Long time no see. Tess. Tess Heitzman. Tess! Good to see you too! Haven't seen you around in a while. What were you doing? I had some things going on at home, but I'll be working in starting today. I look forward to seeing you. Ah, oh, yeah, I look forward to it too. Huh, now that I think about it, it seems like there are more customers than usual. Because I'm here. This shop really needs a pretty flower to brighten it up. Yes, that's right. Thanks to Tess's return, the shop has become much more lively. <laughs> Just leave it to me, Meister. I'll boost this shop's sales like crazy. Very admirable words. I'll be expecting great things. Yeah. You haven't changed at all, Tess. I'm sure the customers will be happy. Yep, since you're here, Sophie, you should order something and relax. Welcome. Which request will you accept? This one's done. We did beat a ghost. Thank you very much. Here is your payment. 72 coal. Let's go 340 here. Now, I do love this. You choose which tin you give. So you can keep the better quality ones. Or you can keep the ones that you want. Like, as you see, higher quality, but the size is also larger. So you can keep the ones that you want. I think that's awesome. Thank you very much. Here is your payment. Uh, the game's awesome. I've really enjoyed it so far. Looking for useful plants. Well, that gets me no money. Because <laughs> I bought, I bought two for 24, so... Welcome. Thank you for coming. Which request? Oh, okay. You don't have any new ones yet. Yep. Magic grass. It's used for healing. It's a medicine. Oh, what did you say? Shopping is really fun. I come shopping around here a lot on fruit and seed day. Oh, today is fruit. Okay. You can see up in the upper left what day of the week it is. Okay, with that, we can go back to the Atelier. Simple sweets. Okay, what okay. Should I make? we need to make the 
the uh, uni bag. We can use the red uni we bought as gunpowder. And we can use this crystal shard that we got from an enemy. Is this really okay? Okay then, let's start. Gonna go that. Mm. This is great. Is this really okay? Physical damage medium. Almost got the red. Why did the uni look like sea urchins? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what uni is anyway, so. There you go. Physical damage medium instead of physical damage small. So better. Yay, I can be level six. And we completed that. Uh now I don't have the uni for the simple sweets. What material should I use? We'll use the material we have. Is this really okay? For the okay, bird. Then? To make medicine. Yeah, this is going great. Darn it. Hi, Lucian. Get. get up there. Is this really okay? Oh well. All right, I'll finish it now. Good. It's recovery small, extra small, but at least I'll have a healing item. We can keep the better one <laughs> that tutorial has make. Okay. I think we're just about to where I what? No, there was one other scene. Um. Let's, let's go. Where should I go? Because if you see the videos aren't on Twitch anymore. I don't know what happened. It's like they were never there. This is my favorite uh, battle theme. I love this one. Yeah, so I'm having to redo redo all this, which is a shame because we had so many great moments last night with chat. Had chat was had some great comments. This is my favorite battle theme, though. I love this one. Ouch. Yeah. Time to get back to observing plants. So we'll try to get the memory. I 
battling enemies. Oh, there's the uh, cobalt. Not quite. Darn it. One HP short. Oh, there we go. Nice. More magic grass. This one's a tougher one. Nice. Good taking there, Oscar. Think back to yesterday, Twitch was being weird during the stream. Yeah, it was. Yeah, something happened. Because, no, I I, I know that, Zareth. I know uh, videos get removed after two weeks. Uh, but it definitely wasn't two weeks. <laughs> Bob forgot to carry it, too. That's probably the most true. <laughs> yeah, it was... The stream was... Twitch was acting goofy all day yesterday. So... That's probably what happened. It's okay. Like, I, I just, uh... New LP won't start today. I was going to start it today. Instead, I did this. But... You know, it's okay. At least we're, we're almost caught back up. 2 HP, 2 MP, 2 LP, 1 damage, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 speed. I can apply this experience to the future. 4 HP, 2 MP, 2 LP, 1 attack, 1, uh, one damage, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 speed. I become stronger for the plants. 3 HP, no MP, 3 LP, 2 damage... One attack, one defense, one speed. Hey. Let's go over here. This ore, maybe I can extract something from it? Maybe so. Uh, I, I really enjoying the game so far. The, the two next memory is basically um, to plot to the next plot point. Since we're trying to restore the memory of our magical flying book. Magical talking flying alchemist book.
So to move on and get more recipes and basically advance plot, collect memory clues. We either get uh, points from slaying monsters or from completing requests, which are like um, errands you can run. So I am beating up monsters. <laughs> I love that game. I'm hoping I, I'll get to uh, stream or LP it at some point. I found a jump button. I didn't find that yesterday. Beginner recipes bomb can be synthesized. Where should I go? Back to town. Bomb. Plata, I'll write the recipe into you. Yes, please do so. Remember anything? Yes, I just remembered something. Awesome! See, it's working. Really? We did it! Hey, so what do you remember? Owl like cow leather is used as my binding. Okay. The cool. I see, I see. Wait, that's it? Yes. Well, but we know the process works. <laughs> Didn't learn much, but the process is working, so... Yay? Um, I was hoping for something more amazing than that. You don't remember anymore? Something amazing? Oh, there is one thing. Oh, really? What is it? I'm a reference book made not for reading, but for recording. Okay. In other words... My purpose is to have knowledge written into me. All right, so we just keep writing knowledge into you. More recipes. Um, I don't really get it. Are you saying your proper use is to keep writing recipes into you? Sounds like it. It seems so. Well, Works for me. It seems like writing in you really did bring back your memories. So I guess this is the right way. Yeah, see? This is the right way. We... It's working. <laughs> okay. I'll keep studying more alchemy to bring back your memories. Plakta told you about a new gathering field she just remembered. Okay, what should I make? Bomb. Oh, I need a uh, neutralizer. But writing that down kind of advances the plot once you reach in, once you reach the uh, question marks. Oh, there's something down here I hadn't noticed before. It's fun to have uni fights, though it hurts a little. I bet! Sounds like a terrible idea. Why throw s spike balls at each other? Maybe you could extract metal from it. Maybe. Also use this gunpowder. Zettle, idea from investigating bookshelf.
Pamela? Ah, Sophie, welcome. Everyone, I'm sorry, but could you play over there for a little while? Yeah, LP is like stamina. As you get into fights and do things, uh, move to places, it goes down. And if it gets too low, your stats take a hit. So. Uh, they all look really lively. They're still growing children, so they're full of energy. That's great. Might be fun if I could play with them, too. No, skills use MP. You'd be welcome anytime, Sophie. You can play with them anytime as much as you want. Really? Yay! But it really does seem troublesome. You have to take care of all these kids alone. This is a nursery, so it's only natural. Also, they're well-behaved. They even help me sometimes. They're all good kids, and it's like you're their mom. Oh, no! Pamela, look! Oh, dear, those kids are all trying to run out of the plaza. I knew it. That's what it looked like. Such naughty children. Don't run off too far. <laughs> Sorry, Sophie. I'll see you again. Bye. Guess it's not fun. I guess it's not all fun in games trying to look after kids. Huh, that's... Harold! Oh, I didn't see you last time. Harold Simmons. Simons? Simmons? Mm hmm? Sophie, why are you loitering around here? You're the guy with the pistol. That's my line! Why aren't you working in your clock shop? You're also a uh, yeah, clock maker? That's awesome. Done for the day. Past closing time. Your shop had a later closing time than this. No, I changed the closing time starting today. You're just trying to slack off again, right? <laughs> That's exactly what you're trying to do. <laughs> Not slacking? I don't say rude things like that. I'm the owner of the shop. I choose when the store opens and closes. He has a very good point. <laughs> Besides, I wouldn't have customers even if it was open now. Say things like that again? Don't act like that. You need to work. It'll be okay. Somebody will buy clocks. You inherited that shop from your dad, after all. Huh. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Alright. See you later. Bye. Ah, he left. Harold's always slacking off on his job. He inherited that clock shop from his dad. He should work there properly. Maybe it's not what he wants to do. Not yet, anyway. Restock to the goods I was short on. Buy whatever you want. Cool. What do you want? Gunpowder. Water. Hmm. I don't really see anything. Is this a th I'll buy that. Is this thanks? So buy that. They're pretty cheap. What? I guess we can always sell things. I didn't think about that. Come. Oh, we can. Uh, Which request will you accept? Neighborhood, neighborhood, neighborhood girls tea. Yes, I do have that. I'll turn that in. Take this one. Thank you very much. Done. Uh, turn in plants. They're all the same. Thank you. I want simple bombs. They want an uni bag. I can do that. Take that one. Season for cooking. Turn in two of the cobalt grass that we picked up. I want to eat simple sweets. I need to make simple well, sweets. I'll... To next memory. Okay. Um, simple sweets. Uni, water, and plant. I can do that.
No, I can't. I need more uni. That was the problem. Huh? Where are you? Logi? Hmm? Ah, if it isn't Sophie. Hi, I didn't meet you last time either. <laughs> last night. Logix? Logix? Loggy. It's been a long time! Where'd you go? I haven't seen you at all for a while. I was traveling for training. Traveling for training? What'd you do? All kinds of stuff. I learned new methods and techniques. Search for minerals. What are you doing, Sophie? Um, I've been thinking about becoming a full-fledged alchemist lately. I come here pretty often to look for materials. Alchemy, huh? Well, it's good you're at work. You're hard at work. Thank you. Oh, I should get going soon. I need to make preparations to open my shop. See you again. Oh, cool. You're opening a shop. Right. See ya. Guess we'll just keep this this file. <laughs> More stuff has happened. Wait. Opening a shop? Another day's almost over. Buy something before I close shop. What do you... Uh, these. Is this okay? Thanks as always. Thank you. Come again anytime. All right. Empty house. Let's go back to the alley. Beats me. I, I haven't either. I played one. It's like the eighth or ninth in the series, apparently. And again, I didn't know it was an atelier game, and that's Manakimia. What kind of stuff should I make? Okay, I can't make you, but I can make the simple sweets. Which material should I choose? And oh, you're really good as the plant material. Special ingredient increases recovery item effect by 30, but increases item cost by 5. Hmm. It's bitter, which that's not great. <laughs> Eat and recover extra small, but it is filling. Hmm. Whoa. This looks kind of amazing. I'm going to do this the other way around. Salty. Will this go well? And still filling. Well, it's got to be better than bitter. <laughs> Because we had to go up to salty from bitter, so. Okay, it's time to finish. Done and done. Done and done. Which material should I 
choose. Alchemy level four two low. Item quality will decrease. Want to eat simple sweets? Yeah, if, well, if you could rotate it, it'd be it'd be great, but we can't. Filling. Sits in the stomach, delaying your turn in battle a small amount. Also restores LP. Hmm. So we... We lose a little bit of our turn, but it restores LP. Reduces the wait time after the target's next turn by a small amount. Okay, so you kind of get it back. Better than whatever bitter was. Eat and recover extra small. Restores a slight amount of targets HP and LP. Recovery amount increases with the with higher maximum HP. So the more HP you have, more max HP you have, the more HP you get back. Okay. That's not true. You're a book. You can be a blunt weapon. You can be a shield. That's not why I'm asking. I want you to tell me which materials are good and which ones are bad. Stuff like that. That's true. That that would be helpful. I see. I understand. In that case, I'll accompany you. Yay! <laughs> then let's get going. <laughs> that that's that's mean. I'm 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 trying to be nice. <laughs> First time we're going outside together, isn't it? Now that you mention it, yes, it is. It's quite refreshing. It's fun walking around with you, Pacta. Well, you're flying, not walking. That's sure, you are flying. Hey, you, can we ask you a question? No, sure you can. <laughs> huh? M me? Yes, a question for you. What exactly is that flying book? Huh? Uh, um... Well, what should I say? I wouldn't want to create a spectacle. It's better if less people know about this. Um, well, you see, I'm an alchemist. I made this book myself. I figured it would be funny if a book flew around. Y you know, weird things are amusing, right? Good save, Sophie. An alchemist. Hmm, so you're an alchemist. What a coincidence. Huh? What's the coincidence? We're actually researching alchemy. Wait, really? You're still so young. That's really amazing. We're researching it, but we don't have the natural talent, so we can't do anything with it. Yeah, but it's still pretty fun to research things, even if you can't do it yourself. Anyway, Miss Alchemist, can we ask your name? Sure, I'm Sophie. Who are you? I'm Mechlet. I'm Atomina. Mechlet and Atomina. This was the only scene I think we that I saw last night that we hadn't seen yet. So we're good now. As we said before, we're researching alchemy. We may come to you to ask things about it. We'll see you then, Sophie. Oh, sure. Come ask me anytime. We should get going, Atomina. Yes. See you later, Sophie. I don't know about those two, though. There was something about those two. I got this really strange feeling. Me oh too, well. Sophie. Sorry for making you wait, Plakta. Let's go gathering now. I'm going home. Aw. Huh? This weird flying book is going back to the Atelier. Go gathering by yourself. Bye. Aw, don't... Don't take it that way. Wait. Is this about what I said to them? I was just kidding. Wait up, Plakta. Come back, Plakta. Hurt books feelings. But had to, uh... I had to think of something to say. 
Could have could have done better, but don't don't be that way. I mean, you are a flying talking book. I'm sure lots of people are just going to freak out. Oh, well. Maybe somebody can come up with something better next time. Okay, cool. We got caught up. Yay. So if I stream this later, which I think I will, we'll see. Um, if I stream this later, we're, we're back on track. Yay. I don't have as many levels, but I'm going to use this save file because I think I have more stuff. So, that I haven't made a bomb yet, but... We'll, we'll work on it. Okay, stay tuned for Final Fantasy X-2. I'll get that started, and we can continue on our day-to-day. -day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed and had a lot of fun. Until the next Atlee or Sophie. Super enjoying the game so far. I'm enjoying the characters, the music, uh, the alchemy's fun, gathering, gathering items. I'm having a blast. I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.